When a beautiful family of five from Northville was killed by a drunk driver in 2019, the sister of one of the victims decided to try to do something about it. And now there's a new law in the books, bringing new technology to vehicles. Grant Herms caught up with the woman who pushed for this meaningful change and is now seeing results. The bill that bears the Abbas family's name is now law. And while the path to getting to this was long, the fight isn't over yet. It's really still kind of surreal. Um, I don't know if it's fully hit me yet. A surreal feeling of success for Raina Abbas Taylor after the bill honoring her family killed by a drunk driver finally becoming law. Taylor recounting the phone call when she got the news. And she tells me and I was, it was just, I, I was quiet. She's like, are you still there? And I'm like, yeah, for real? Like for real, for real? And she said, yes, for real, we did it. And just pure shock and elation. The law, which was part of the sweeping bipartisan infrastructure bill signed last month, makes drunk driving detection systems mandatory in new cars by 2026. While there's been some praise from automakers, there's also been caution and outright pushback to the mandate. A lot of commentary about, you know, we are excited to do this and step into, you know, this partnership. I've also heard that, you know, yes, it sounds great, but we aren't sure how feasible it is. We know it's feasible. We know it can be done. While there are still hurdles to getting those systems in cars, experts think thousands of lives could be saved each year. Taylor says she's still in awe of the good that could soon be on the way from a tragedy nearly three years ago. It is so affirming to know that even though the thousands of lives that will be saved, we'll never know what went into making sure their lives are safe when they're on the road. There is a comfort and a feeling of accomplishment that nothing can take away from this fact in this moment. And Taylor says some of the real work now is just beginning. They have to work alongside government agencies to work out the rules and guidance for automakers so they can get these things into cars in time. That process is expected to start in the coming weeks. Grant Herms, Local 4. Work. Okay, Grant, thank you.